What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are looking at the best attacks at each town hall level. Um, these are what is working right now, the thing you need to know for each of these top town hall levels, town hall 13, town hall 12, town hall 11, sorry town hall 10s don't have anything for you in this video. If the, the masses rise up, I might cover town hall 10 more. Um, that being said, Zap, Quake, Lalo, or just Lalo in general, has kind of taken Town Hall 13 to some extent. There's still hybrid, there's still other stuff, but this is what I'm liking most, and there's lots of different ways you do it. You gotta be creative. I mean, there's no cookie cutter army at Town Hall 13, but um, there's certain things that are working uh, generally, and Lalo is one of them. This attack, we have Saint Kirk, Royal Champion, just to clear a compartment, a funnel, plus get some value by taking out an air defense, some other important buildings. A uh, little Sui hero coming in, King Queen, grabbing the Town Hall, getting a bit of a Tesla farm down as well. Town Hall is a huge thing to get down. I've talked about this before. Town Hall goes down, uh, you're in really good shape. Here comes the Lalo now, starting off with the Stone Slammer to kind of deal with the um, uh, scatter shot. The Slammer is a great way to counter the scatter. Um, it actually locks onto the Lava Hound here, which is a, a good thing to tank as well. But the, the Slammer will do a lot better than regular Balloons against the Scatter Shot because it has so many hit points. So anyway, um, the Balloons moving through here. Hey, look, a balloon parade! Nice Warden's ability. Um, covering the, the Loons as they encounter you know more damage here. Keeping them all up, then reinforcing with some more. You gotta be kind of conservative if, you, if you're doing a Zap Quake with the spells. So does a nice job using them only when needed to kind of help push these main balloons across the middle. Then a nice freeze on the scatter shot. There's just not a whole lot left up on this base. So um, really nice hit. Cut. I like balloons. Love to see it for sure. And um, uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward as things run through. Loons come out of the uh, slammer and um, this one goes to completion. So like I said, Lalo is the thing at Town Hall 13 right now. We are going to take a look at one more Lalo attack, and I'm going to have to switch wars actually real quick for this. Um, Warlog. Warlog's not looking too good, but we did get a win here. <laughs> so this was a, a great war from our 13s. But looking at base number three, what do you know at Septatron hitting on you know my account? Not to brag, you know I was the one attacking because it's my account obviously. Um, this was a bat spell at the beginning and then Lalo. So like I said, you gotta be creative at Town Hall 13 with how you do it. Um, because even, you know, if a strategy like Lalo is powerful right now, it's still tough to triple um, good bases. So freeze on the wizard tower, rage, bats. Really what I was looking to do here is get that eagle down, get a few other buildings in the area. It's maybe a slightly bigger spell investment than the Zap Quake, but you're getting so many more buildings taken out. Um, so it's definitely worth it to uh, invest a little bit more in this case. Um, Sui Heroes, things get a little bit weird right around here. It's a fresh hit. Um, Tesla's popping up. My Wall Breaker getting caught in a tornado trap. Uh, the Royal Champion going down to the Queen here. So just kind of everything's all over the place, but the King luckily comes back in. He will take out the defensive Queen, which is important. And then uh, from here, it's uh, time for the Lalo. And you know, when the CC, you don't know what's in there. It can be a little risky. In this case, it was Headhunters uh, and a Hound, which the Hound kind of gets pulled away. But I need my Warden to cover the Town Hall, obviously. So things are a little bit, um, you know, maybe not too good. But a nice clutch baby dragon kills those Headhunters before it go they go over to my Warden. So if you have a uh, stone slammer bring a baby dragon or even a big dragon uh, it's a great way to add some damage whether you're trying to take out the royal champion the defensive queen the CC whatever it is there's probably gonna be something even air skellies something you can get some good value so all those loons moving across town hall is covered by the warden's ability and um, that one baby dragon still working got such good value from that baby dragon at this point it's just the balloons can they finish things off we're a little bit poor on spells here because of the beginning investment but there's enough to get it done the hound isn't too much of an issue even though it's going to kind of stay there going back and forth with my goblins anyway 
Town Hall 13, Lalo's the go-to. Um, and you can do it in lots of different ways, as we saw. Okay, we are just gonna stay in this war and look at also my attacks. Guys, this is something I'm really excited to bring to you. I've talked about the Super Witch. I wasn't quite sure the best way to use it when I first started making videos on it. A lot of experimental stuff, but I knew it was strong. Level five Super Witch is extremely strong compared to um, the defenses at Town Hall 12. So, um, if you use it correctly, you can roll through bases, and this is what we're gonna see here. Warden Walk to start things off, King on the other side. It's all about the funnel. That is half the battle is the funnel. Get things in, um, and then from there, you gotta make sure you're not running out of time as well. So the setup here, Warden Walk, this is about as long as you want it to be, just taking out five or six buildings. Here come the uh, Super Witches, spawning those b nice big skeletons. Ah! And uh, they're gonna push through here at the Town Hall. Using the jump spell, I mean, I would not even try to use Wall Breakers because one, you don't have access to Super Wall Breakers because of the Super Witch. And two, um, the space a Wall Breaker is gonna open up is risky because it's so small. You need a big opening. The Super Witches are so hard to funnel. Um, even as I got them here, I was a little bit scared they wouldn't, you know, stay in the base. And uh, luckily, the king did a great job. They have nowhere to go but in. And um, you can see this going to overpower this base. Now, here's the key: we can't run out of time. A delayed siege barracks with hogs and a heal spell. You got to have something, you know, more than just the super witches. They're strong. Um, they are not going to die easily at all but you're gonna run out of time if it's just super witches. So we had the siege barracks providing a couple of things. In this case, unfortunately, it looks like a lot of the, the wizards from the siege barracks died, but typically you're gonna get a ton of wizards coming out of the siege barracks, and you know you should have like two or three of your own for cleanup. Uh, that's a given, but it's gonna add a bunch more firepower to start taking out buildings, start just getting that percentage going to allow that attack to not run out of time. Um, and also the hogs coming out is a great addition. If you have the space, bring a heal spell for them. Really take advantage of that. Um, Town Hall 13 as well, but focusing on Town Hall 12 here, this is the go-to that no one's talking about, that not a whole lot of people are using, but that is it's the go-to. This is what you're gonna have success with, guys, if you use it correctly. Um, next one, we got base number 10. Showing my attacks, because I'm the one that's, you know, I'm not the only one using the strategy right now, it seems like. This one was an interesting base, because I knew if I get my Super Witches in it, it's GG. I just need to, f I was really thinking about this. What's the best way to get Super Witches inside the base here? Typically, you want to come from the Town Hall side. Not required, but that's how I wanted to do it. Warden Walk to start. Um, then we're going to use the King, as usual, to funnel the other side. And then you're gonna see the jump spell investment is really gonna be excessive almost to make sure that they go into the base. So giant just to tank all the, the super witches to spawn those nice uh, skeletons. Ah! The main thinking is that um, you don't want the cannons locking onto your super witches. You want them to have time to spawn their skeletons. Then that's what gets locked onto. That's why I bring one giant. So that first jump spell, just to get them over that little bit of walls there. Um, now, the Warden Walk funnel was trash, and I dropped my Siege Barracks to try to compensate. The only thing that saved this attack was that the uh, Lava Pups pull like two or three of those Super Witches into the base. Otherwise, big trouble. Um, there was like not much going into the base there. So, it works out, um, even with two of the five Super Witches not going in, three is still plenty to overpower the core of this base. Just shows how strong they are. But the moral of the story is, um, if you only need three to go into the base, if it's a tough funnel, only bring four super witches, four healers, that leaves plenty of troop space for funnel. You can use baby dragon, loon, Pekka, whatever you need. Um, because the king does a good job on his side, but often a warden walk will not be enough on the other side, as was the case, especially because you can't do a super long one so, you know, bring the funneling troops, 
even if you only had three super witches, you'd probably still be okay. So you can definitely do get it done with four. Don't get too greedy with the troop space there. Spread it out, bring, you know, plenty of wizards for cleanup. And then um, as you saw the siege barracks, man, nice feature. Wasn't used how I intended just cause um, I tried to do an emergency funnel with it. But at the end of the day, the hogs got good value and um, you wanna typically drop it a little away from the action, like in the corner um, where there's a bunch of trash buildings to allow the P.E.K.K.A. and Wizards to kind of build up so the Hogs can run past them. Otherwise, the P.E.K.K.A. Wizards will die, then the Hogs will come out, which will uh, hurt you on cleanup. And that's kind of what happened on most of these attacks, but it doesn't always have to be the case. Anyway, um, nice uh, round of applause. Thank you for the uh, those three hits I'm providing to this video. Um, this is one of my best wars, actually, oh, in, yeah. a, in a while. Anyway, let's uh, take a look at Town Hall 11 now, and we're gonna have to switch back to that more recent war. It's tough to navigate all this. Um, this is only one attack, just because um, I think it it covers it, and the other two required the two attacks just to show the full amount of the strategy. Um, so. Uh, this is the Zapquake Lalo, and unlike Town Hall uh, 13, this is a little bit more of a cookie cutter army, meaning that you can pretty consistently use that Zapquake, and it's not always obvious, but boom, there it goes. We got, even got the sound effect for it timed perfectly, thank you. Oh, and I missed that one. <laughs> the point here is that you can, you know, have these different techniques, in this case it was dropping the zaps in different locations to take out a wider uh, range of buildings but also get the queen as she moved so every zap hit the queen they were just also hitting uh, a wider variety of buildings so taking out um, in this case got the cc down i think got like an expo the air sweeper some good stuff and then it feeds in into a nice funnel with some loons uh, to the king and queen coming in with a super wall breaker um, one thing I've talked about in the past is all, all these nice attacks, It's everything kind of feeds into the next step. So that allowed for an easy funnel right in this area, which allowed for the heroes to enter, and that's going to feed into a Lalo. Everything's kind of happening adjacent, um, you know, next to the previous step. So Queen's ability coming in, getting good value. Lalo actually coming from the other side, but, you know, kind of pick, pick the best side. In this case, the sweeper's pointed that way, so there you go. Um, Rushing that first Inferno, got it down fast, which is good. Lava Hound soaking up a ton of stuff there. Once again, we got the loons uh, cutting across the base here. I like the loons. And um, getting some incredible value uh, just from how spread out they are, uh, taking out all these defenses at, wo at once almost. Still has the Warden's ability, probably doesn't even need it, but there you go. One last haste spell. And it is GG, very nice, very nice hit there. So, Town Hall 11, um, look to use that Zap Quake. Now, bases are going to start to be giving almost no value if they spread everything out too much. But for now, I would say in about 75% of bases, you can get the value. Even if it's not like the Eagle next to the CC, which is that classic 7 uh, Zap, 1 Earthquake will do it. That's what you should always look to do first, but... Even uh, in other cases, if you get the CC down or get the Eagle down and maybe get a Sweeper or an Expo, that's enough value to set you up um, to Suey the Heroes and then Lalo everything else. So this is what's working, guys, those three Town Hall levels. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if I missed anything in the comments and uh, what your favorite attack strategy is for your given Town Hall level. I'm thinking I'll also put a poll out um soon so be looking for that in the in your video feed you should obviously be subscribed so you get all my notifications but also you'll see the poll little community poll and we'll look at that in the next video that'll do it thanks for watching guys see you next time thanks for watching this video if you enjoy my content consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code isect in the settings tab of your game and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time. Bisectatron out.